My name is Lante Shorter. Uh, I fight out of Davenport, Iowa, Team MFS. My name is Josh Mitz. I fight for Capital City MMA out of Springfield, Illinois. Uh, I heard he's a brawler. I heard he can uh, stand up, take some punches, whatever. But we get in that cage, and door, the cage door is locked. Man. I don't think he can handle my punches. March 27th, I will be fighting Alante Shorter. I don't know much about the guy. I mean, I know he's a little bit taller than me. He's coming off a 27 second TKO. Um, probably looking to keep the game standing. Yeah, coming out with a bang. Coming to fight, like always, you know. Coming to knock people's heads off. I don't care less. It's, he's trying to hurt me, I'm trying to hurt him. So, come on, watch me. I just intend to come out and uh, execute my game plan, um, put on an exciting fight, and come home with the win. I'm glad that you're coming two and, two and a half hours away to fight me for, I don't know how many seconds, but you better bring it. Welcome everybody to Caged Aggression 15 Dedication. I'm the American Hybrid, Nick Cunningham. With me as always, Jeremy J.D. Dorsey. And we are here, this is not kick makeup, this is Caged Aggression. Caged Aggression 15 to be exact. Um, we, we've been through so many of these, but I can't explain how excited I am for this one. We, we're at the, the first night, first match, first matchup for our first um, of the two night event going on this week, so. We are live here at the River Center downtown Davenport, and we will take it over the next two nights. It wouldn't be March without Cage Aggression, and we are gonna get into the fight right now. First by the night, made his way down to the cage, Josh Mitz, out of Freefield, Illinois, in the Kennel Fight Club. Yeah, um, one and all fighter, so, you know, hasn't had that taste of defeat, but also is very experienced. I know he has a very game opponent tonight, so it's going to be interesting to see exactly what his strategy is going to be. I know when we got a chance to talk to him, he talked about how his opponent has a better reach than him, is a little bit taller. So I always wonder when you have a, a shorter fighter against a taller fighter, whose strategy is going to win out in one of those situations? Making his way to the cage, Alante Shorter out of Davenport, Iowa, representing Militich Fighting System. Got a chance to see Alante last go around when we were uh, at Cage Regression 14, so we know exactly what he's going to bring. He was able to get a victory in under 30 seconds, so we know that uh, Mitz has his, uh, his hands full a little bit tonight. So talking with Alante, one of the things that he mentioned was that he was training a little bit different because Mitz is a southpaw. Now, you being a fighter yourself, how difficult is it to fight someone who's a southpaw? Is it just the, the difference of seeing something different, or is there a different strategy that goes into fighting someone who's left-handed? I think at first uh, it's very weird, but he should have been bringing in southpaws in his training camp, so that by the time he gets in here now, it should, nothing should be uh, weird at all. He should be used to it, so if he says that's what it is, then he just didn't bring enough southpaws into the camp. Ladies and gentlemen, our first bout of the evening is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the Cajun Aggression Amateur Lightweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet seven inches tall and weighed in at 156 pounds. He trains with the Kennel Fight Club and is sponsored by Wrestle Wireless, Graphics Factory, Superior Long Design, and Constant Combat. Joining us from Springfield, Illinois, Josh. Mitz! Yeah. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six feet tall and weighed in at 154 and one half pounds. 
He trains with Militage Fighting Systems. Joining us from Davenport, Iowa, Alante Shorter! We are ready for your first fight of the night here at Cage Aggression 15 Dedication. Bruce Allen is the referee. Josh Mitz versus Alante Shorter. Mitz in the red shorts, Shorter in the black shorts. And that's kind of, I mean, that's what we were talking about too. Mitz just goes in right away and tries to cut off that distance. But he's uh, catching himself on the end of those punches, which is you know, the advantage that Shorter has with that reach. I like how he kicked in and used that as the lead. Yeah, a lot of fighters don't really tend to do that. Uh, might be a little bit too dangerous, but hey, why not go for something like that early on in the fight? The advantage of being tall, you've got the long limb, and uh, right now Mitz is smart to just get in, close the distance, and, and take it away from shorter. And talking with uh, Cage Aggression president, matchmaker, Mr. Everything, uh, Mike Goodwin, he was saying that this is probably going to be a stand-up battle. So yeah. um, it's interesting to see Mitz trying to tie him up. He must be a little bit nervous about shorter's. Uh, stand-up game at the moment. Shorter tries to take him down, but actually goes on his back and admits is able to get full mount. This so is we're already past the point of we, where we've seen, we haven't seen anything from Shorter yet. Shorter's trying to uh, pop up and, and reverse this. And this is where, too, you, you know, Shorter uh, needs to pick a hit, slide out. Easier said than done, though, as, as you got somebody mounted on you. Of course, and it's really important for this, and Miss to take advantage of that right now. Gets a standing uh, rear naked. Working really hard for it. Got, he's got it underneath his chin, and he's going to tap. It, it, what, a, what a way to start Cage Aggression's first night, but what a way to start that submission, though. He started oh, yeah. standing up. And, and then was able to pull him back down. Which is, I mean, that was just brute strength. And immediately, once Shorter started getting hit, he immediately turned over, gave his back. You can tell he didn't want any sort of, you know, deal with those punches and gave up his back. And that's almost always a death sentence for any fighter. One thing we do know about Shorter, though, he's going to go back to the drawing board and come back really strong for his next Absolutely. fight. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Bruce Allen, has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 40 seconds into round one, declaring your winner by submission due to rear naked choke, Josh Mitz!